Here we go. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back. As promised, we're going to be doing a reading now that is going to be what it is that you need to know about yourself right now. And we're going to be to the point. We're going to be concise and direct. Take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> and um, I heard you guys. So for the month of October, you guys definitely could stay tuned to story times as well as I'm going to be doing uh, some spirit communication uh, for the Hallow's Eve special. So you guys can definitely stay tuned to that. If you guys are interested in consultations and cleansings or any type of work that we do, you guys can click on the link on the description box below to our online store and you can order that on there. Also, I want to let you guys know that we are fully restocked with our soap line, as well as our oils, as well as our powders, everything that has to do with the practice you can find on there. We are, like I said, your favorites have came back. Uh, we have Belladonna. We also have the Emperor oil, as well as the soap line, like I said, and a new, uh, a few candles that are new that we are kicking off. So you can find all of that on our online store. Like you guys already know, the month of October, from the month of October all the way to probably March, it's our busiest season. So book now. Let's get into it. All right. We're going to begin here with Libras because we are going into Libra season. So actually, we are already in Libra season. So brightest of blessings to all you Libras out there. We're going to kick it off with you guys. So let's see what you guys need to hear at this point in time, what's important or what it is that you need to know about yourself. That's what this reading is for. Okay. So we may strike a few chords with some of you, but... It's necessary, all right? Something I tell my clients all the time, the tarot doesn't always want to, or the tarot is not always going to tell you what you want to hear, but it's always gonna tell you what you need to hear. So let's get into it. Let's begin here with Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know about themselves at this point in time? All righty, if you guys like these videos, definitely give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, don't forget. And uh, let's see, let's see what's going on here with Libra. All right, Libra. So what they're showing me here is that uh, you take a while, you take a bit too long sometimes to take on new opportunities or when opportunities present themselves, you kind of dwindle with that information first. You kind of sit with it and try to figure out perfect timing. What Spirit is telling you is you need to throw that out the window. All right. You need to be a little bit more spontaneous. Only through this are you going to be able to fully embrace the opportunities around you. You need to try the best you can to get out of your comfort zone. If you don't, you're going to continuously keep experiencing the same result. So there is a need of being a little bit more aggressive in your approach in every single aspect of your life. Okay. We're not talking about only one subject or one area in your life. We're talking about in every single aspect. Learn to be direct, to be honest with yourself. Stop hushing or, you know, sugarcoating things to make others others feel comfortable. You need to be more aggressive in how you express yourself. Only through this are you not going to feel the stagnation and the, uh, you know, the the brewing that happens within you because you keep everything under surface until you explode or until you take out your anger in maybe the wrong situation or the wrong person. You need to learn to be more direct, like I said, take on more opportunities and stop being a bit too stuck in the mud. Why? Because this is what slows down your progress. Sometimes you overthink too much to the point that you convince yourself that it's not a good idea to take on that opportunity. Therefore, letting opportunities pass you by. You need to be more spontaneous and you need to be more aggressive in your approach of your confidence in yourself, what you're capable of doing. Stop self-doubting so much because this fear of, I don't want to make the wrong move. I don't want to say the wrong thing is what keeps you in a stagnant energy. So again, be more aggressive in your confidence, be more aggressive in embracing 
uh, new opportunities, even if they're outside of your comfort zone. Only through that are you going to be able to grow and expand and experience different results. All right. That is for you, Libra. Now, moving on, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. What is it that Scorpio needs to know about themselves at this point in time? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to know about yourself at this point in time? All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on here. All right. All right, Scorpio, stop sacrificing for others. Um, okay, so this is a big one for some of you guys. Um, you have the need or the constant need to save people, whether it's to save your family member, whether it's to save your dad, whether it's to save your mom, whether it's to whatever it is. There's a constant wanting to help or see good in others that you kind of forget about yourself. And in forgetting yourself, you're overextending yourself and you are like barely surviving on very low energy because everyone draws that energy from you. So I'm going to be honest, for a lot of you guys, you have, you surround yourself with people that take so much energy from you. Now, this often happens with people that have very strong energy, um, and obviously Scorpio is one of the signs that uh, you can possess very, very strong energy. Why? Because you are interconnected. You are the unknown, right? You're connected to the spiritual realm. You're connected to the depths of the depths of the depths of the ocean. So you have extremely powerful energy. Unfortunately, that draws in a lot of leeches, people that feed off of your energy. And a lot of you guys have issues with boundaries when it comes to family, friends, or loved ones. Um, whether it's you constantly sacrifice for them or whether it's you constantly doing for them and overextending yourself or overextending yourself for friends. Um, and you guys are kind of going through a rude awakening right now where you're kind of realizing that, you know, the energy is not being reciprocated. So what they're telling you right now, what you need to know about yourself is that it's not okay to sacrifice yourself or to enslave yourself to loyalty for the sake of loyalty if it's not reciprocated. And that's something that you guys need to know. And this could be with partners and relationships as well. Um, oftentimes we will find ourselves trying to, you know, help and be there and encourage and, you know, do all this amazing stuff for our partners, but are they reciprocating that energy? And if they're not, then you need to stop. You need to pull yourself together and recharge your energy, refocus, figure out who's important in your life and who are the leeches that are only leeching off of you, who are draining your energy, whether it's your energy, your finances, you know, your state of mind, your peace of mind and purge is what they're telling you. This is the time to purge. Why? Because only through this are you going to be able to break the chain of certain type of karmic lessons that you've been experiencing often. And it could be very connected to family, to friends, to toxicity, uh, to trauma. Okay. But what they're telling you is you need to come out of this cycle because you've been over and done with that. But you have a tendency of like I said, overextending yourself. And this could be like, you realize that a friend is not reciprocating the energy, um, but you kind of, you know, hope for the best. And in that, what you're doing is you're allowing others to overstay their time. Do you get me? So what they're telling you right now, it's important to make yourself a priority and your energy, take care of your energy. Don't allow those leeches to be around you because they will stump your growth. They will hold you back and sometimes even hold you back from greatness because your loyalty is so strong that it kind of blinds you, Scorpio. So take that and sit with it for a bit. All right, moving on, Sagittarius. Let's see, what is it that Sagittarius needs to know at this point in time? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like and comment. Let me know so I can keep them coming. You guys know that I listen to everything you guys tell me. So feedback is always amazing from you guys. If you guys don't follow my social medias, you can see here on my channel and find 
our social medias, our links are all connected to this channel. So you guys know you guys are following the right person. There's thousands of impersonators out there. All right, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Spirits, what is it that Sagittarius needs to know about themselves at this point in time? Thank you. All right. All right, powerful, strong cards here. All right, Sagittarius. So I'm going to be honest, okay? Stop following your heart or stop making decisions based on how you feel. That's going to change your whole trajectory of life. It's going to bring to you stability because I see you guys like trying to figure out stability, whether it's in finances, career, relationships, whatever it is. There is something that you need to understand about yourself and the need for you guys to constantly have the desire of taking on a journey is within your nature, right? But it doesn't mean that you go blindly. Like what they're telling you is if you change this aspect about yourself, making decisions, what you know in your mind to be right and to be wrong, if you start listening to that a little bit more, uh, instead of allowing others to even pull on the strings of your heart, um, you know, your child is constantly trying to emotionally manipulate you and you're like, oh, but I love my child. And But you see through that, but yet you still give them whatever it is that they're trying to get from you. Like you're not, you're not allowing them to grow up. You know, sometimes us trying to be um, very loving and very compassionate doesn't necessarily do good for the ones we love because sometimes they need to fall on their ass to figure life out. We can't always catch them. So this is in every aspect. This is not just with your kids. This is not just with your partner. In every single aspect of your life, learn to make decisions with a clear head and a clear mind. Okay, not with the hot head. <laughs> this is going to completely transform your life and it's gonna bring to you much more success, much more stability, and it's going to completely transform the toxic cycles that you've been going through. If we're talking about relationships, that's something that you also need to figure out. You're nobody, you're nobody's mama or you're nobody's dad, like to, to help them figure out what it is to be a husband, what it is to be a partner, what it is to be a wife. Like that's not your job. Your job as a partner is to come into a relationship knowing that it's going to be a partnership, that it's going to be 50-50 in every single aspect. You know what I mean? Like, stop allowing people to work with your strings, to pull on your strings, on your heart strings, uh, because that's your downfall. You sometimes do for others and put yourself in very uncomfortable situations or very uncomfortable predicaments. And it's because of those decisions that you've made where you feel often that it's that the universe is doing you wrong or that the universe is not, you know, being been good to you or that your luck is not good. Like, okay, I'm going to say something about you guys, Sagittarius, you guys, your planet is ruled by Jupiter. You are the luckiest sign, but sometimes being so lucky is not necessarily a good thing. Why? Because you sometimes risk. There is a thing as unnecessary risks. And you guys take those unnecessary risks because you're lucky and you're blessed. But sometimes you guys have this mentality of I'm the unluckiest person ever. It's not that you're unlucky. It's that you make decisions that put you in very bad circumstances. Why? Because you do it because you're doing it for others. You're you're trying to do it for other people, for your partner, for your kids, for your loved ones, people that you care for. And what they're telling you is that, again, if you learn to master your emotions, like, and make decisions, like I said, with a clear mind, with a clear head, your trajectory of life is going to completely change. All righty. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns. What is it that Capricorn needs to know about themselves at this point in time? Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know about themselves at this point in time? 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Cappies, let's see. All right, Capricorn. What you need to learn right now is you got to stop caring what people think. You have to stop caring what people think. You often make decisions and you're one of the signs that is very stubborn. Um, and you guys have a tendency of saying out loud for everyone to hear, I don't care what people think of me, but deep down inside of you, it kind of moves you. Um, you're so much wanting to either be liked or be understood that sometimes you change certain things about yourself to have a better feedback or to have better, like your energy being received. And what they're saying here is that you need to stop caring what people think. And I'm going to tell you why. You, and this could be in different aspects for you guys. It doesn't have to be like with partners, with relationships, in your profession. This could be with your family. This could be with your friends. What they're telling me is what you want to feel like is to be seen, to be heard, to be understood. But when we are so fearful that no one connects with us, that no one understands us, that no one sees us, what you're doing is you're vibrating from an energy of fear. So you become repellent. You're repelling others around you. You need to change this way of thinking or this state of mind so that you could be more in tune with your energy and your energy could be higher vibration. There is a habit or there is a cycle that you continuously keep repeating. As an example, relationships. You can have this mentality or this attitude of, I don't care if, you know, if I have a partner or not, I'm an independent woman or I'm an independent man, da, 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 da. But deep down, you do want that connection or you do want that deep, you know, relationship. You want what's real, but you're so scared of it that you push it away. So again, learn to be unapologetically yourself, Capricorn. Do not switch up. Do not change. Do not try to be what you think others want you to be. And I know a lot of you guys are gasping right now, right? Because we take it so personal and someone tells us you're trying to be something you're not. We're like, what? We don't care. We don't. I can connect totally relatable because I'm a Capricorn myself. But let me tell you, spirit is not, not once lied to me. And what they're saying is that there is something in your energy that you constantly feel like you're being judged or you're being criticized. The moment you genuinely stop caring what others say, think, or do, right? You're releasing the attachment of the need to be in control of how other people perceive you. And the more authentic you are to your own energy, the more people are going to be naturally drawn to you, Capricorn. So be yourself. And, and let me give you guys an example. Spirit is saying, as an example, right? What I'm hearing is when you guys are, or when you think no one is watching you, or when you think no one's around you, you've probably noticed that you're doing something, like you're in your own head and you're doing something, let's just say, for example, you're at the park walking and you think no one's like paying attention to you or whatever, and, and you you're in your own head and you're singing or even dancing when you think no one's watching and a random person will come up to you or someone randomly will say something um, that you're like, holy smokes, I didn't even know they were paying attention. That's when you draw in people very organically and naturally. You guys are a cardinal sign. People are physically naturally attracted to you or pulled towards your energy. 
But the more authentic you are, the more people are very receptive of that energy. So stop walking around with a wall because this is what's keeping you from progress, whether it's to find a relationship that is most suited for you, whether it's for some of you guys, it could even be like you have a tendency of dealing with people that once it gets a little bit too deep, they kind of don't know what they want and they walk away or they pull back. Um, and it's because you're so guarded. You're so guarded and you're so consumed with wanting to come off as perfect. There's no perfect. There's no perfect. Understanding that you are perfect in the process of being imperfect is what makes you beautiful and it's what makes you authentic. All right. All right. Moving on. We are going to go now with Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. What is it that Aquarius needs to know about themselves at this point in time? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like and comment. Let me know so I can keep them coming for you guys. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know about themselves at this point in time? All right, Aquarius. All right. What you need to know about yourself at this point in time. Stop judging people so harshly. Stop judging people that do not see what you see, do not understand what you understand, that are different. I feel like there is this energy about you that you kind of repel people because you come across as know-it-all or you come across as you know, you're always thinking that you're right or that you have the answer, that your answer is the correct one. And this not only pushes people away, but it really frustrates people that love you, people that are around you constantly, people that are trying to connect, but it's like, you don't allow them. You keep pushing them. Uh, and then you wonder why in the romantic sphere or in the love sphere, there's not a lot of movement. It's like, and keep in mind, you guys do carry Sat Saturnian energy. So you guys could be a bit of like suck in the mud type of like, you don't want to necessarily do things that are outside of what you're accustomed to. Um, but you need to stop taking life so seriously, uh, Aquarius. You need to learn or remember what it was for you as a child to have fun. You need to learn to see life from a different perspective, for, from a more childlike type of energy. This could be life. This could be responsibilities. This could be, you know, the stress of the whole world on your shoulders. I get it. But what spirit is telling you is that you've forgotten how beautiful and how unpredictable life is. And you have to learn to see life through the eyes of a child again, because the child within you needs this. You need to connect with that childlike energy so that you can experience much more beautiful experiences in your life. This has closed you off, whether it's in love, whether it's in romance, whether it's even in growth the stump of your growth in, in, in your profession. It's like you are seen as too uptight. And though I know a lot of you guys are here, but I don't care how I'm seen. You should care because it does impact your profession. It does impact your love life. And it does impact those that love you and that are around you. So there is a need to be more playful. There is a need to see life not in a very cynical way. This is going to completely change the experiences that start to come into your life, Aquarius, but you need to like start thinking or teaching yourself to see it this way, like yesterday. Um, because only through this are you going to be able to Continue progressing and moving forward with much more beautiful experiences in your life. 
I feel like very cynical type of energy here. And what they're telling you is that when we fall into that energy, what happens is that we're constantly being reminded of how horrible or how dark or how brutal life is. And if you start to embrace, again, like I said, seeing seeing life through a child's eyes, how it was to be innocent and to not care that people thought you were different. You were different and you marched to the beat of your own drum and you embraced it and you had fun with it. That's the energy that you need to embrace. All right, moving on, we're going to go now with Pisces. Let's see what Pisces needs to know about themselves at this point in time. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know at this point in time? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. Oh, oh, okay, we got cards fine. All right. All right, Pisces, what they're telling me here is that you need to learn to have focus in your life. There is almost this constant of, of shifting of energy. You're constantly like you want to start a new project and then a month in, you kind of get tired of it or you get distracted and then you go to something else. What they're telling you here is that there is no constant focus. It's almost like there is no feeling of consistency. Uh, consistency is a big thing for you. And it's going to be a major impact if you start to embrace consistency. If you're going to start something, stick with it. You could sit there and make up a thousand excuses of why you didn't finish or you didn't complete whatever it is that you started or that relationship didn't work out for a thousand reasons, whatever it is, consistency is the way for you. As an example, in relationships, if you sit there and say, I am constantly like being let down, et cetera, et cetera. It's very simple. You want to know who the right person is for you. Pay attention to their consistency. If they're not consistent, it's not for you. If you cannot be consistent with a person, then that person's not for you. Like you need to focus on one thing at a time to see it through, to actually see the result of what can come from that. And like I said, this could be in any single aspect of your life, whether it's relationships, friends, uh, career, finance, whatever. Consistency is the way to go. You need to clear your mind or you need to figure out and prioritize what is important in your life. What is the most important? And put energy and effort towards that. Because I see a lot of scattered energy and the desire of wanting to do multiple things. And then you just give up or you don't see it through and it creates this energy of an inner struggle constantly. I feel like you feel stuck or you feel like there is like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should make a right or make a left. Like when you don't even know where you're going. So again, consistency and being focused is very important for you. And this is going to change a lot of things in your life if you learn to, again, be consistent and expect others around you to be consistent. Let that be your standard. If people cannot be consistent with me, I'm shutting the door on them. And you're going to see your life completely change. Pisces. All right, moving on. Aries, let's see what is going on with Aries. What is it that Aries needs to know about themselves at this point in time? And I want you guys to know the reason why this reading came about was um, in meditation. There were, you know, certain conversations that I was having. Uh, and one of them was that a lot of the times we live in a world right now, we live in a society where a lot of people are quick to point fingers or judge, but have a major issue with internalizing and going within. It's like, we're so scared. And that 
is seen in relationships. Um, the constant being from one relationship to another, but everybody's walking around being so cynical or being so damn guarded uh, when it comes to relationships, but deep down feeling sad or feeling empty because they want that connection. It's like you cannot connect or expect to have a genuine, authentic connection if you're walking around being cynical about the one thing that your heart desires. I hope that makes sense. So that's the reason why we're doing these readings, because sometimes we have to go within. Sometimes someone has to hold the mirror in front of us so that we can see what's going on or take some time to figure out what it is that we need to know to better help our situations. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with them. What is it that they need to know at this point in time about themselves? Here we go, Aries. Aries, stop giving up. Stop giving up or stop walking away from things that sometimes may feel like they are a bit complicated. It's like you've gone about it. You've gone about life, right? With this idea or this mentality of people having to accommodate you or people having to prove to you which I can completely understand. Everyone has experienced, everyone has gone through many difficulties. I get it. But I see you guys extremely tainted and it's almost like you have put yourself in this energy of constant giving up because if there is a little struggle or something that you need to figure out, you've kind of relied on others or I should say others accustomed you to rely on them to figure that out. So you have a habit of walking away when things may become a bit difficult. Um, so what they're telling you is if you want to change the outcomes of what you've been experiencing, you need to see, see it through. You need to see it through. You need to be willing to put in the work to see results. You can't just say, you know, I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of being lonely. And then you start to connect with people in the moment that there's an inconvenience for you. Um, it's like, oh, I don't know if I want it now. Like make up your mind about what it is that you want, Aries, and see it through. Don't give up. Don't toss it away so easily and stop running away from responsibilities when we're talking about relationships, whether it's commitments or whether it's commitments to family and friends, um, it's almost like there is this constant need of running away, running away. Like you got to run away. You got to, you know, my family's so toxic that I, I just rather create distance. Um, the relationship that I'm in hasn't been working out. So I think it's best if we end it. Uh, there is like a running away type of theme here. No, never be a victim of life. Okay. Everyone has gone through it. I guarantee you, whatever it is that we have experienced in life, we always think that our shit is worse. Like, trust me, there's always worse. So the only way you can change this energy is if you own your shit and see it through or work it out or figure it out. Don't walk away just because it's easier or don't walk away just because, you know, you're, as an example, um, when things get real, don't be quick to run away from it because you're going to be running all your life. It's kind of like that, you know, owning up and, and, and facing our fears is the breakthrough to overcome those fears. So stop running away, Aries. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know at this point in time about themselves? What is it that they need to know about themselves? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know about themselves? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
What is it that they need to know about themselves? Holy moly. Sorry, you guys, if you hear my mother yelling in the background, we're extremely loud. <laughs> I can hear her all the way over here. Okay. All right, Taurus. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is there is a propelling or a wanting to move forward, a wanting to embrace new things or wanting to shift your way of thinking and certain aspects about your life. But it's almost like the past or people around you keep dragging you to the past or keep dragging you to the energy of your old version. Uh, and what Spirit is telling you is, Taurus, you have elevated yourself. You are vibrating from a higher frequency. Try the best you can to either dismiss, pull away, or cut the connection or the cord or the people around you that are extremely toxic and that bring nothing but instability to your life because of their chaotic life or their chaotic energy. There's certain people that you surround yourself with that can be extremely toxic. It's like they have or they crave or they desire this type of drama. And for some of you guys, you get sucked into that. Or for some, you're so accustomed to it that it feels like breathing, right? But if you're trying to get yourself to higher vibration, you cannot allow, like you have to be more mindful of the people that you choose to surround yourself with or the people that you choose to work with, or the people that you choose to deal with. Because like they feed off of your energy and you feed off of their energy. And I see that there is a breakage of some type of energy from the past that you've already accomplished or you have already done. There is new beginnings coming to you, but stop doubting the process of that. Stop doubting that things are going to change. Because I see you guys like wanting to think a certain way, wanting to move towards the future, but then fear creeps, creeps up and then you're dragged back to the old way of thinking or the old way of seeing things, or you're literally being dragged by family, friends, people that you surround yourself with. If you, I know that sometimes this could be extremely painful, um, and I can totally relate to this because I've experienced this uh, many times. Um Sometimes in order to elevate yourself, uh, you outgrow people and it's okay because sometimes people, other people around us don't want to grow and that's okay. That's their choosing. But if you're choosing to change or transform or embrace a new beginning, change your life, experience different things, you have to be okay with walking away from those that don't want to grow with you but also don't allow them to stand by the door to hold you back, to hold you back, to hold you black, <laughs> to hold you back. So again, be brutal about your future Taurus. When I say be brutal, don't allow anyone, anything, situation or circumstance to hold you back to the greatness and to the amazing life that you're propelling yourself to. I know that sometimes that's painful, especially when it's loved ones or people that we are very, you know, connected to. But if they don't want to change with us, if they don't want to grow with us, if they don't want to transform their lives for the better, it's okay. We shouldn't judge, but you shouldn't stop your life or stop and hold their hand because they're just holding you back. All right, moving on. Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know about themselves at this point in time? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Gemini. Gemini, you have amazing amazing energy here. What you need to know about yourself is that you need to learn to stop being so ungrateful. 
there is a lot of opportunity, a lot of potential around you, a lot of financial stability around you. Love is there. Love is around you. But you need to stop being ungrateful. There is a constant either comparing or a constant like looking around to see what others are doing, to see what where others are at, or you comparing how unhappy you are in comparison to like your friends that are like in a loving relationship, whatever the situation is, okay? Stop being ungrateful. The reason why you're not living that right now or the reason why you haven't experienced it right now is because you're not counting your blessings. There is a lot of potential. There's a lot of growth you've accomplished. I always tell my clients, if you're going to look to the past, make sure that you only look to the past to see how far along you've come. If there's no reason for you to look behind to see how far you've come, then don't turn. Because we look towards the past sometimes as in like, that was the best time in my life or that was the happiest time in my life or that's, you know, when I was in that relationship is like where I felt love, whatever the situation is. And you romanticize about the past, but obviously it's in the past for a reason. You got to keep moving, moving forward. And in order to fully embrace all that amazing energy that is around you is if you learn and start to be more grateful, make it a habit of being grateful, Gemini, make it a habit. It could be as simplistic as getting yourself some stones as an example, something that I, you know, do for clients that I, you know, sell to my clients. Um, for those that are, are in manifestation process, uh, it's the wishing stones. And what you do is you get those stones or you can do it with anything. Um, and every day when you go to bed, you have four of them as an example, you make sure to count four things that you're grateful for. And when you wake up in the morning, you make sure you count those four for other things that you're looking forward to experience in that day. And what you're doing is you're shifting your energy. You're being more grateful. A heart full of gratitude will only experience manifestations and blessings. And I see all of that around you, Gemini. But again, there has to, you have to stop either comparing or you have to stop looking to the past. It's time to look to the present decide what it is that you want to experience and focus on accomplishing that. Focus on that. And how do we do that? Through gratefulness and through counting your blessings. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that Cancer needs to know about themselves at this point in time? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, let me know in the comments below so that we can get more to you. Oh, and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I heard you guys loud and clear. So for the month of October, we're going to be doing story times. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing channeling as well. The cards popping out. So you guys stay tuned for that as well. All right. And we have tons of spell work coming through for you guys. You guys know that uh, Hallow's Eve is a very, very exciting time for us over here. And you want to get your spiritual protection and your cleansings and abundance and all of that greatness to its maximum potential. And this is a season. <laughs> All righty, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. What is it that they need to know at this point and time about themselves, Cancer? That card came out. So definitely wanted to speak to you. Be done with the past, Cancer. Be done with the past. Stop reliving the past. Stop re-constantly visiting the past. Stop staying in the past. Whatever has ended, whatever has culminated, it's time that you move on from that. This is relationships. This is connections. This is friendships. This is even family members. Anything that has fallen, okay? Anything that has fallen off, anything that is not in your life right now, two weeks from now, they pop back up again. Do not go back to that. There is a cycle that's ended and there is a need 
for you to be very present. Okay. Very present. There's almost this like disconnection with the present. So I don't know if you're constantly fixated on the future that you are incapable of, of being present in the moment, or there is a constant reliving the past that you cannot be focused in the present. It's like if, as an example, if you're constantly thinking of the future and what you want, or I should say what you don't have, and you worry because there's uncertainty there, you're vibrating from an energy of fear. And that creates a lot of blockages in your life, whether it's love, whether it's finances, whether it's health, there's something that you constantly fear. And it's almost like you constantly attract that. So again, stop with the past, let go of the past, close the door to the past. It's time to embrace the future, but be present. It's it's almost like that this explanation that sometimes I tell clients when you are seeking love, right? You're constantly concerned about the future. Like, I don't know, I think I'm never going to be married or I'm never going to be in a relationship. And that fear has you obsessed in the present about finding love. And what do you do? You attract people that are unhealthy to love. Why? Because there's fear there. So you're only going to be able to draw towards you people that are in your same vibration. When it comes to business and finances, the constant worry is what repels money towards you or what creates blockages. So again, you have to learn to be present, be mindful in the moment, pay attention to the opportunities that come your way, pay attention to the people that come in your life. Some of them have a purpose. Some of them will come into your life to guide you towards where you're wanting to be. But if you're so concerned or focused, or I should say obsessed about the future, you're not paying attention to what's happening right now. So you're missing out in those connections, in those people that are coming in, that are helping you to align yourself or to guide you to where you want to be. For some of you guys, it's the constant reliving of the past that has you stuck. Be done with that, Cancer. All righty. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is it that they need to know about themselves at this point in time. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they need to know about themselves at this point in time? Holy moly, guacamole. <laughs> All right. Stop fearing success, Leo. Now, this is a conversation that I've had multiple times throughout my many years in the practice with clients that are almost fixated in wanting to succeed, whether it's career, whether it's finances, whether it's in love. There is... The constant obsession about something is a good thing if you can direct the energy towards bringing it to you. But if you're obsessing over it because you fear that you're not going to get it, then that becomes a repellent energy and you push it further away from you. So there is this constant worry or fear about stability, about your finances or about, for some of you guys, uh, it could be, you know, moving out or buying your house or having your own material possessions. There is this constant fear or worry. And what spirit is telling you is that it's already in your energy. If it's something that you want, okay, this is how energy works. If you want something and you've decided that's what you want, it's already in your energy field. It's already there, Right. But because it hasn't fully manifested in the material aspect, we assume as humans that we don't possess it. But everything we could ever want, we possess within ourselves. So what I'm saying here is whatever it is that you want, Leo, whether it's the financial stability, whether it's the marriage, whether it's the commitment, or whether it's finding 
what you're going to be great at, because for some of you guys, I hear you're trying to find your purpose. Whatever it is that you're in search of, it's already in you. You already possess it. You just need to embrace it. How do we do this? Okay. If what you're wanting is, as an example, to get a high paying job, then you need to accept that it's already yours, right? And having a high paying or successful job means that the version of who you are now is not going to be the same version of when you get that position. Why? Because maybe right now you're not going to be as busy, obviously. You're not going to be making as much money as you would be making when you have that. So you're going to, your taste, your dress, your how you carry yourself is going to completely change. So start changing now. Act as if, act as if it's already yours. Act as if you already have that job. Act as if you're that successful person. See, this is where our mind shifts and that's when manifestation happens. If you're wanting a relationship or a stable relationship, act as if you already have it. How do I do that? Well, how are you going to act? What is it that you're going to do for your partner? As an example, um, date night. Start dating yourself, Leo. Start taking yourself out to the movies. Start taking yourself out to dinner, do things that treat yourself the way you want the partner to treat you. That's where manifestation happens, but it comes down to knowing you deserve it, knowing you are worthy of it. Okay. And this is in any aspect. Like I said, I see a lot of money around you. So if you guys are fixated or worried about money, accept that you deserve it, accept you're worthy of it. Tell yourself why you're worthy of it. And your energy is going to be on the receiving mode. So you will then surrender and you will see it happen. All righty. Finally, Virgos. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know about themselves at this point in time? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what they need to know about themselves at this point in time. If you guys like these readings, comment below. Let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All righty, Virgo. Let's see, what is it that you need to know about yourself at this point in time? Virgo, you need to learn about balance. All right. Balance is something that is very important in your life. It's something you lack of, or it's something that you do not embrace, okay? I see you guys taking major risk, um, really putting yourself out there. And a lot of the time you end up falling on your ass. And the reason for this is because like I had mentioned in another reading, one of the other signs, there are unnecessary risks. They are risk so risque that they're not worth you taking. But you're so like when you are inspired, when you are focused, when you want something, you're like, I don't care what I need to do as long as I attain it. And that's not necessarily a good thing. If you learn to have balance in your life, this is going to completely change the outcome of things, whether it's a relationship, whether it's business and career, whether it's the dynamic within your family, you have to learn to balance. Okay. How do we do that? Don't be so quick and hasty to make decisions that are don't make decisions that are momentarily or don't make decisions in a moment in time where you feel emotional don't make decisions about your future when it's only momentarily something you're experiencing like i said if you're excited and ecstatic about something you're like i'm going to make it happen and then you go for it and then the outcome's not necessarily good. And then you shift your energy towards something else. And then you go with the same into it, not intuition, sorry. You go into it with the same excitement. Like at some point we need to learn, you know what, taking unnecessary risk is not necessarily a good thing and it's not working out for me. You need balance. You need to learn to know when to be, you know, when to take 
risk and when not to take risks. And taking risk all the time is not a good thing because it's putting you in a position where it's almost like people see you as extremely naive. Um, and that's why we go through things because we learn through those lessons. So you should be more mature or more wiser in the decisions that you make instead of making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Learn to balance. How do we do that? As an example, if we're talking about relationships, when you're getting to know someone and it's moving rather quickly, what starts off very quickly, more than likely um, burns out very quickly. You should know this by now, Virgo, because you've experienced a lot of those connections. So obviously through that experience, you should know that you should take it slow. Make them earn you. There is no excuse for the constant repeating of lessons because you should have learned by now. So again, learning to balance, learning to be patient is what's going to bring to you the success. It's what's going to bring to you the long lasting results that you're looking for. This is in relationships. This is in career. This is in, you know, if you're starting a new endeavor, you're starting a new business, you're not going to see it succeed in the first or second year. You have to stick with it. You have to see it through. Balance. You have to put in the work. And like I said, this is in every aspect. Learning. Not learning. What you should have learned by now is knowing that when things move quickly, it's not necessarily a good thing. So be more, be more mindful of not rushing into things. If something sounds too good to be true, it's more likely too good to be true. And you know this, so why take that risk? If they're trying to rush you, you know, getting to know someone, they're trying to rush you to be physical. It didn't work out the five past times. It's not going to work this time. You know what I mean? Make them earn you. You are the prize Virgo. Balance is key for you. All righty, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, let me know. Give me feedback. And I will see you guys soon. Till then. Bye-bye.